I want to talk about the importance of choices and accountability. Because I think they go hand in hand and it's very vital. I think a lot of things that happens in our lives are due to our bad choices, making bad decisions, and not really using discretion and not really um, waiting, counting up all the costs and different things like that. Now, don't get me wrong. I know for a fact that mistakes are blessings in disguise because with that mistake that you make or mistakes that you make, it definitely does develop us into who we were meant to be. Depending on if when you make the mistake, you get the lesson and you learn. Now, it's counterproductive if you keep repeating the same mistake, making bad choices, making bad decisions. Um, if you keep making it and you never learn the lesson, that is counterproductive. But it is great when we make mistakes because they help us evolve into who we were always meant to be, our greater self. So in a token, I thank God for mistakes. I'm not sitting here saying that um, mistakes are bad. There's some good in the bad choices and decisions that we make as well. Because it helps, helps help us exactly where we are in life and what we need to improve on. Because a lot of times we can't understand why, oh, why am I still here going through this? why I don't understand or I'm still attracting this or attracting that or why does this always happen and sometimes we want to blame everything on something else oh it's the devil oh I just have bad luck oh I'm cursed what, whatever excuse we can use or oh, somebody else's fault but we never sit down and look in the mirror and say, you know what? This is no longer a coincidence. It's no coincidence that it's been 10 years and I, I'm still here. I'm still making these same repeated mistakes and I'm in this cycle. It's like a cycle. Sometimes we do have to sit down and look in the mirror and say, you know what? Maybe it's not anybody else. Maybe it's me. L let me examine myself. I think we should have daily accountability check-ins to check ourselves. Because, I mean, a lot of the times where we are in life, a lot of that does have to do with what we're choosing, what our choices are, what we're choosing, what we're deciding, what our decisions are. It's us. Now, I'm not talking about that. Let me put a disclaimer out there. I'm not talking about things that happen beyond our control. I'm not talking about those things because unfortunately in life, there are curveballs. There are things that get thrown into the mix and happens outside of what we can control. I'm not talking about that. When things like that happen, God will come in and he will fight that battle. Those are battles and situations and problems that we have no control over. So we can't do things about that. We just give those things to God. I'm talking about choices that we make it helps create our existence and what we have in life our lot in life a lot of it has to do with our choices what i mean is now we can say all day oh man when we get out of something because we always get out of something we get out of something god graces us and he gets us out of our mess 
And we like, oh, God, thank you for getting me up out of that. I learned my lesson. I'm not going to do it anymore. But here's the thing. If you're in your action, if your actions don't reflect your lesson learned, then it's pointless for you to say you're sorry for something. What do I mean? Let me go into, let me elaborate on that a little bit. What I mean is like, let's just say for instance, you have a problem with money. And you say, oh gosh, I got out of that bind. And you don't do nothing in your actions that reflect how sorry you were. Then it's pointless for you to say, oh, I'll never do this again. But yet in your actions, you do the same thing that got you into a bind. Like you don't, you're not responsible. You don't pay your bills. You take your money and you do everything else with your money. And then you wonder why your light, your lights get cut off or you don't have enough money to do this or to do that. I'm just using an example. Things like that, that is because a choice you made. It's not that there is no money. When you get the money, if you really got the lesson, your actions will reflect that lesson learned. When you get that money, you'll take that money and make sure that you pay your bills. Or for instance, if you're an alcoholic, and let's just say, you completed the program for your alcohol problem, but yet you still have alcohol like up in the cabinets and you haven't removed the alcohol from your cabinets or you might have it somewhere in a stash, somewhere in your car, and you haven't removed the what used to be a problem and you haven't removed it, well, that's not reflecting lesson, the lesson learned. You see what I'm saying? If you, if you know that, okay, I used to be addicted to alcohol, let me just make sure in my actions I, it reflects the lesson learned. So let me remove all of this alcohol out of my house, do everything that I can, where it's no longer it could tempt, possibly tempt me. That's what I mean. Or if you know that uh, you never made correct choices in men or in women, with women. But yet and still, you still constantly keep entertaining, keep hooking up with the same type of man or woman. Different face, but the same type of man or woman. You cannot say, well, gosh... Man, that's all that's out there. That's all that's out there. Because I keep getting this. It's something that you are doing that you're not aware of as to why you keep attracting that same type of man or woman. I'm talking about that for as to give an example. And then that's when, when we see these reoccurring events and happenings that happen, it's time for us to do a accountability check-in is what I like to call it. And you sit there and you look in the mirror. And you're going to have to start pointing the finger at yourself. It is so vital that we do that. Because a lot of times we're to blame. It's not always Satan. It's not Satan's fault. It's not your daddy's fault. It's not your mother's fault. It's not your spouse's fault. Sometimes we are actually in fault. Sometimes it's us. Some, yes, yeah, you. And until we realize that, okay, well, maybe it is me. Maybe I am the reason as to my lot in life. I, I, this is because of my own choices, my own decisions. 
That's that's why it keep happening. It's not a coincidence. After a while, when you've been in something repeatedly and repetitively, it's, not, it's no longer a coincidence. No, you're not cursed. You're not cursed. Who the sun set free is free indeed. Christ came that we may have life and life more abundantly. We're blessed. So we have a new inheritance. We don't have an inheritance of cursed, um, damaged, anything that wants to like have a hold or a grip on you. That doesn't belong to us. And we're supposed to have everything blessed and everything that is good, the abundant life. That's what we're supposed to have. And then a lot of times it's our mentality too. We have to change our thinking. I know all my life, I just, in my mind, I always felt like, and I know, uh, you know, my family members would think that, oh gosh, you live in this fairy tale world. But I was training my mind. In my mind, I knew I will have a good life. In my mind, I knew I was going to be wealthy and have a certain type of lifestyle. And they used to say, wow, you, you're living in a fairy tale. But no, actually, I was just prepping my mind for how I knew my reality was going to be. And I'm living out everything that I'm, I envisioned in my mind. It starts, it starts in your mind way long before you actually meet up to it falling into fruition, into existence. It starts in your mind. Your mind is a powerful tool. So if, if you keep thinking higher for yourself, wanting higher for yourself, believing that you'll have it, you will. You will. I don't care how off the wall it may seem, how fairy ish it may seem, how crazy it may seem, how big it may seem. I know right now they'll look at you and see where you are and say, well, gosh, you're crazy. Look where you are. But yet you think in your mind that you're going to have this fairy tale lifestyle, extravagant lifestyle. But yet look where you are. You, you have to see beyond where you are and really believe in your mind that you're already there. That's what I would do. I already was there in my mind. So that's why I had this, um, I had this attitude like I already had it. That's what I've always done. And finally it's, it's working out. So sometimes we have to change our mentality And sometimes we have to make better choices and decisions and look at ourselves and examine what's really going on with us. It's not everybody else. It's actually you. Nobody's at fault. Nobody's at fault. And people who shy away from dealing with reality are people who don't want to grow. They don't want to be better. They don't want to see the error of their ways. They don't want to hold themselves accountable for the mistakes that they've made I guess because they think it's a bad thing no it's actually a bad thing when you don't want to face yourself and look in the mirror and say you know what this is trifling I'm just I'm just trifling I'm doing trifling stuff I'm making bad choices and I need to stop and get better it's bad when you don't want to do that That's bad. That's really bad. So I just, my prayer for everybody that's listening to this video is that God gets you to a point and a place where you allow him to deal with you. If you would allow him to help you deal with you and your mess and your stuff and all the things that you're doing that's causing you to be in predicaments and situations, If you would let him handle it and help you face you, you will be better. So that's my prayer for everybody that comes um, to this video and that they take that away from this video. 
Um, I think that's all I have to say. Um, yeah, that made me want to talk about that this video today because of the stupid, dumb choice that I was going to make. And I had to just be quiet, be still, listen, and just pray my way through a situation that I wasn't really thinking all the way through. I just reacted. And that's outside of my character because I'm the type of person who likes to plan and I analyze and I think about something over and over and over and I add up and count up the cost and everything like that before I make a decision. So that was out of character for me. <laughs> um, but it's for different reasons that uh, I will share in a later video. But... um yeah, I'm glad that I had I had to have a reality check or accountability check in. I had to check in. That's what I like to call it when I know that I'm I'm tripping. Like, uh, what are you doing? You have to check yourself. So yeah, that's what inspired me to talk about this video here today. Um, y'all stop stop pointing fingers. Stop pointing fingers. It's not everybody else. Maybe it's you. So when are you going to hold yourself accountable for your actions? Why not start today? Simple. Just say, you know what? I've had enough and I'm tired. And I want a different reality. I want something more out of life than what I'm accustomed to or used to. I'm, I'm going to do something different because obviously this is not working for me. It's never worked and I'm, it's not successful, so let me try something else. Do it. I promise you, you'll feel so much better. I know it's hard to look at ourselves and realize that, dang, we making dumb choices, dumb decisions, dumb It's just sometimes we just do. We just, I don't know, we just do. But don't feel bad about it as long as you catch yourself. Catch yourself and retract your steps and get on the right path. Then the sky's the limit. Okay? So thank you guys for watching and listening. And God bless you all. Bye-bye.